Hey everyone, Lori here, and I am super thrilled to be speaking with you today about my brand new slow pitch bat that I purchased for myself at a discounted rate because it's brand new, but I got it in February of this year, and it's an older model. I was told it was a model of last year's bats. I have a feeling it could be even older than that though, because the information I found about it online is from like 2013, 2014. That's all good. It doesn't really matter to me. I just wanted a new bat and that I knew would be pretty good quality. So it's all good. And I wanted a discount. So originally this bat, which is the Mikan Revex Balanced USSSA Slow Pitch Softball Bat right here. Ooh. Ah. It's the 27 ounce, 34 inch version. And balanced meaning that the weight is evenly distributed through a barrel. Whereas the max load version of the same bat, most of the weight is distributed here at the end. And that's really strongly for power hitters. And I would consider myself to be somewhat of a power hitter, but I'm not there to absolutely crush it every single time. This will certainly do that for you though. <laughs> I mean... I was blown away. I have n never had my own bat before, but I'm on two slow pitch teams this year and I've been playing adult recreation of all since 2012. It's now 2017 and I thought I owed it to myself. I've been wanting a bat of my own for a few years and I owed it to myself to treat myself. So originally this bat cost in Canadian dollars $249.99 plus tax and I paid $149.99 plus tax. and. I bought this early February, it's now early April and the season's actually started, so I've taken this out for a test run once. And I nearly returned it so many times because I was like, well, I just play rec ball, do I really need something fancy? But I thought, screw it, like, I work hard for the money, I'm going to treat myself and I'm going to really fully enjoy this because while I play on a recreational level, it's still serious enough that you can, and personally, I see the value in a quality piece of equipment. And if you have good tools working for you, that makes your job as a player even easier. Yes, you need to have some skill, but if you have skill in combination with good equipment, you can take your game to the next level. And Mikan is a brand that I'm familiar with. For the first time about three years ago when I bought a new slow pitch glove and I was really nervous about that because I had been using the same glove pretty much forever so I was totally emotionally and physically attached to this my first glove and when I had to upgrade I was super nervous but I took a chance on Mike and I hadn't heard of the brand before but the customer service sales guy at Sportcheck where I bought the glove was really helpful and spoke highly of it and uh, this time around as well when I went to buy a bat I went to Sportcheck again having had a good experience in the past with the glove for a new bat and had another good experience with the sales associate so shout out to two of the locations which I've shopped at and purchased quality equipment at here in Victoria Thank you for your service. It is bringing me endless joy. <laughs> Each time a season comes up, I have something to look forward to with that glove. And now I have a bat. Now going into the details of this bat, it is what's called composite material. Whereas I'm mostly been familiar with aluminum or alloy bats. And those are fine and I've played well with them and loads of people love them and maybe prefer them over composite bats, but I didn't even really know there was a difference. And when I started reading up on them, I was like, oh dang, composite, like, that's pretty cool. It's actually a mixture of materials, hence the name composite, and I didn't do a ton of research, but basically that means it's a carbon fiber polymer. So I think that just is a fancy way of saying a mixture of plastics and maybe even glass, but do not quote me on that one. I thought maybe it's all a blur, all the reading I've done. And I just thought, okay, composite way of the future. This is what the sales associate told me. I'll go with that. I'll forget about aluminum. And I don't know that I'm going to look back. However, there is a lot to be said for both types of bats. 
and I found a link from JustBats.com that I'll put below. So if you're curious, you can read the difference between the two. They break it down really simply, really clearly, and in a way that's easy to understand. So if you're interested, I will put that below. Now you're just going to have to take my word for it for how I'm saying it performed because I don't have the resources or the uh, filming equipment to film a personal demo, though that'd be super fun. I'd love to do that in the future. Maybe down the road um, at the end of the season when I can give you a full review, which I plan to do via video again, follow up on how it performed throughout the season with um, wear and tear from being played on two teams. But for the time being, also from Just Bats, I will put a video demo of this bat. And it's a couple guys do it, and you can see the pop off the bat and the ease with which they use it. So hopefully that will give you more of a visual of how it can perform. Now for weight, I do have the 27 ounce version and 34 inch. And I've used 27 ounce bats pretty much more comfortably than 28 ounce bats the whole time I've been playing slow pitch. And I find I'll probably just continue to stick with that. Just, I find typically from what I've noticed, lots of female players prefer that weight. I certainly am in that category. I mean, to each their own, it's a personal decision and, and comfort level in terms of weight. But I've noticed for me, it's not to say I couldn't use a heavier bat, but when I do, I find I have less control over it, over my swing. Whereas with a lighter bat, like the 27 ounce, it works beautifully and I feel like I have control over the bat and I have a nice even swing and I can control more when I'm going to make contact with the ball. So I am very happy with this bat. I mean, this is an honest first impressions. I've only done, I hit maybe three dozen balls with it at my first practice, but I really look forward to seeing how this performs throughout both my team's seasons. And I can definitely say that my teammates were pretty psyched <laughs> about this too. I just have to take my word for that as well, but I think they were all surprised at how well this performed as well. So it's not just me that's psyched about this. <laughs> Some of them also used it and were really happy with how it felt. I mean, there was literally, I don't think I need to use batting gloves with this bat because it was so comfortable. There was no sting or vibration after making contact with the ball in my hands, which is huge. The only thing I'm a little bit not sure about how it's going to perform over the course of its lifespan is the grip here is white and okay so it's dirty already it's been used once and that's not a real issue I mean that looks better scuffed up and used than stick and span I mean they're there to get dirty but um, in terms of quality of the grip, I'm just not sure how long it's going to last. It, it's comfortable, but it feels like it could get worn easily, but I'm not sure. I'll just have to wait and see. And I know that that's something that can be replaced. In terms of total lifespan of this bat, it's also going to be interesting because um, composite bats, which I didn't know before I bought one, have a definite shelf life and it says even in the there's a one year warranty on this bat and it does say in the care instructions to limit to individual use and don't keep it in your trunk because if it gets sensitive to temperature fluctuation so if it gets really cold or it gets really hot i guess the material can expand and contract and just reduce the lifespan of the bat so try and keep it inside and a reasonable temperature in a garage somewhere or something just not a car <laughs> ideally and in terms of limiting it to individual use that was surprising to me too because I've never even considered that before I've just shown up played ball and used any old bat for years and we've all shared them but if you want to get the most out of it which I do because I've invested in this then you you should probably honor that which I will do my best to do that so I'm just really looking forward to see how it performs. And I am excited to report back at the end of the season how it's all worked out and how the grip's worn and how it's performed overall. Uh, if you would like more information on this bat, then like I mentioned, you can check the links below. And there, it's brief, it's all there for you in the different links. There's a video demo, it's short. Um, the difference between aluminum and 
and composite bats, there's a link there too, and some more detailed description of the, this bat itself. Now, disclaimer, this bat, I believe, is discontinued, and the purpose of this video is not so much for you to go out and get this exact bat, it's just to inform you of what different types of bats are out there, and to inform the rec user, the rec slow pitch player, about options that are out there if they are thinking of investing in something for themselves when they're ready to take their game to bit more of the next level and not just show up and play with any old bat, which is totally fine too, I've done that for years, but if you're at the point where I am, where you're just looking to make a bit of change for the better and have some fun and invest in yourself, then I think you can draw a lot of information that I'm sharing with you and information from the links provided to just make your own choice and find something similar, whether it's by Mike in, which I totally endorse, or another brand that you feel comfortable and excited about, then that's cool too. So I wish you a wonderful slow pitch season and <laughs> lots of fun out there on the ball field and lots of fun going out trying to find a new bat for yourself if that's where you're at. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel for more good stuff, and hope to see you again very soon. Bye!